I was casting two of Universal's hit shows, uh, Rockford File and Beretta. Hmm. And I knew the other p people in the office was making a lot more. But because I had moved up so fast, so I started grow I grew a beard to go upstairs to meet with the head of the, of, uh, the vice president. And I said, I think I'm working on two of the hit shows, the producers of those shows are so, you know, complimentary of my work, I'd like to have a raise. And he said, how much are you making? He says, I, he says, uh, I said, I'm making $350 a week. He says, and how old are you? I said, I'm 20, I think I was 26. He said, you're too young to be making $350 a week. I didn't agree, but I wasn't in a position to quit. So I left, I said, okay. And show you how grace shows up in your life. Um, there was a TV series, had, had, uh, Red Fox was doing Sanford and Son. And he wanted a black casting director. Jane Murray had cast the pilot in the series, and he said, I want a black casting director. I was the only black casting director in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So I made a deal with that series to cast the show under the table at a rate of $500 per episode. So I was casting, and it was a violation of my contract, you know, at least with not a contract, but it was totally you know, not in keeping with Universal to be casting an outside series. So I was casting Rockford File and Beretta for Universal Studios. And unbeknownst to Universal, I was casting Sanford and Son at five hundred dollars a week. The, the great thing is that the uh, Red Fox rehearsed on Lancashire Boulevard and Lancashire and Magnolia, so I could go by. I could leave Universal on my lunch break, go by, meet with him, talk to him about the casting, and the producers uh, Saul Turtle Top and Bernie Ornstein, and that went on for a couple of years. Wow. So, you know, so much for the raise. <laughs>